Hello and welcome, my name's Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Today we're back playing uh, Fantasy Life. This is happening on Twitch TV forward slash RM2K Dev live. Otherwise, you're seeing the catch up episodes which are being played on my YouTube channel. Last episode, we went through and figured out all of Flutter's requests, including the really hard and complicated one, which was called uh, uh, Life Master of Everything. Um, we're joined today by Elio Ayu, I can't read his name, sorry, um, Green Console, Pokemon 52, 31, and a couple of other people um, who are chilling out in the uh, in the stream. So, let's talk with Flutter, and we'll uh, continue on with the, doing the butterfly request you just did. Alright, so, we will... Do a bliss check. Do a bliss check. There we go. Are you doing other stuff as well, Pokemon, or are you just doing the, the Flutter stuff? Because I've been doing heaps of other stuff at the same time. There we go, we blissed up. Oh my god, we got two bonuses! Hells yes. I think the next one we need is expanded shopping, so we can get some better gear. Keep three pets with you. We, oh, we can get three bonuses. Jeez. Shopping Plus. Does Shopping Plus give you more... More, um... More weapons? I don't know. We get three bonuses, so I'll do one on that. There we go. We've increased the assortment of items available in Castiel shops. Just a storyline, really. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, we'll also get so many pets, so we can have a third dog go with us. The more dogs that you get go with you in this game, it just makes things so much easier. They're like personal gangsters. Uh, Port Peruto shops. I think Port Peruto is the next place that we're going, so it might be a good idea to unlock that. Hairdressing, I'm not interested in hairdressing. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, what have we got? Hold a hundred items, bigger bag, bigger storage. What I'll do, I think, is I will get... I'll get a bigger bag. That'll be the next one, because the next bliss thing is going to be very soon anyway. The next one will happen shortly, so... Um, it seems Flutter wishes to speak with you, so this is going to instigate the next portion of our storyline. Let's do it. You must save before continuing. Save progress. Yes. Yes, I would like to save my progress. Okay, let's see what we have to do. I'm so pleased that Laura is able to leave the castle freely again. Now, if we all to go off on an adventure, I think I'd like to go. And so, just like that... I mean, he's not wearing any underpants. Poor Gladstone, he must be freezing. Wow, once I start talking, I just can't stop. We better get to bed. You know, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be exciting to get tangled up with a bunch of marauding pirates or something? <laughs> okay. Flutter predicts the future. I'm sure of it, because the next place we're going is Port Peruto, where there are pirates. Pirates. Piracy. It's a Illuminati conspiracy. Pirates of the high seas, people downloading movies, it just makes sense, doesn't it? And end of the awkward silence. No, the awkward silence is still here. I'm sorry, it's still here. We're still in the awkward silence. <sighs> this silence is awkward. Are my eyes deceiving me? Captain, do you know what that cross is? Right, so there's a cross on the moon. On Lunaris, as they call it in this game. Cutscene! Cutscene! With the tiny king. I won't skip the uh, cutscenes, by the way. How would we prevent the awkward silence? Good question. I think if we made more awkward silence, we could counter 
the first awkward silence, somewhat in a phase shift of awkward silence. We invert the phase of the second awkward silence and blast it into the first awkward silence, creating a phase, um, what do you call it? A phase cancellation, essentially resulting in significantly less awkward silence. I think that's how it would work. Why are the cutscenes 10 FPS? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Cutscenes look pretty smooth. On my end, I'm watching the stream as well as uploading it, and it looks pretty smooth for me. I don't know why it's 10 FPS for you though. It could just be that the amount of changing pixels on the screen is making OBS freak out. Alrighty, cutscene is ended. Where are we up to now? Jolly good morning, here comes the postman. It seems our glorious king has designed, uh, has deigned, sorry. It seems our glorious king has deigned to write you a letter. I'll deposit in your mailbox. Yeah. I like how he ended that with yeah. He's just like, yeah. Anyway, we have mail from the king. The king himself. The Tiny King. The Half King. Uh, Ryan, I have a request for you as promise. Oh, sorry. I have, <laughs> I have a request for a promising young individual such as yourself. Please come and see me at the Royal Court. King Eric of Castiel. Alright then. It seems that that is what we must do. Look at that. You got a letter from King Eric. I wonder what he wants from you. Since we're going to the castle, we could also visit Laura and see how she's doing. Let's do it. Tales of Lunaris, Part 3, A Pirate's Life. What console are you playing at? I am playing on a Nintendo 3DS console. I had to say that. I'm sorry. It's, it's console. S S O L E. Everyone's in line to see the king, and we're just gonna walk past and just barge into the king's room. Aren't you lucky? Aren't you the lucky one? You're number 100 in the queue. No way. It's just a joke. I've been dealing with this crowd since this morning. Okay. These. Green console. <laughs> what green consoles are there, green console? A Taniro, how are you doing, by the way? Thanks for joining us today. I'm trying to think of green consoles. The only thing that's coming to mind is like the original Xbox with the Halo mod. That was a green console. The logo of the Xbox was green, but the console itself was black. But there was the Halo one. The Halo console, there was like a limited edition... Limited edition, I say that in, in quotes, um, because anyone could buy it. It wasn't really limited. Um, but yeah, that was green. I remember that. That was a green console. It was more camo green, but it was still green. A console that runs on eco power. <laughs> Introducing the Sony PlayStation Green. Simply plant a tree on the top of the console, and it will supply you with enough power to play your games at full speed. I get it. I just didn't check what I typed. <laughs> it's all good.
We should turn that into an advert. The PlayStation Green. All your games are biodegradable, so after six months, they will fade away. Then the logo would finally make goddamn sense. Yes, it would. It's a big G, isn't it? I meant username. Your username would make sense. It would. Your logo would make sense as well, if it was on a console. Like the big G on the side. It's the gangster console. Alright, we got King Eric's letter. To my dear friend, the governor of Port Peruto, I would like to borrow the pirate treasure possessed by your land since ancient times. Eric, King of Castiel. Alright, so, Eric, the King of Castiel, wants to borrow the ancient treasure from Port Peruto. We are off to Port Peruto, where they make the best burritos of all. The only place to get your burritos. Alright. Port Peruto. Oh, Flutter seems to have something to say. If you don't know where to go, just spread out the map and check the routes. What level am I? I'm not telling you, because it's not a competition. And you're probably higher than me now. And I think it's a competition, so I'm going to lose, and I'm not going to say. Oh, I'll tell you. I'm level 11. Uh, I think we've also got a couple of these quests that we can complete. One big egg, is it for me? I'll just be taking it, if you don't mind. Hand over. Hand over the egg! Hand it over! His power level, it's over nine! I can't do it. <laughs> Tell me. I did, I did. Oh, 500 dosh for that. Alex Kelly Belly, welcome back. Good to see you again. Look at the bottom of the screen, Alex. I got a, a scrolling thing. I put that there just for you. Since we had our talk about it yesterday, I was like, you know what? I have to make the scrolly thing at the bottom of the screen. So I did. Oh, I I'm in a talking loop with the grandpa. Jesus. I keep pressing A, waiting for the talking to stop. And then when the talking stops, I press it again and it just continuously happens. All right. We, are we on a main story? No, we're not on a, we are on a main story quest right now, so I don't think I can take the dogs. Actually, let me give it a shot. I'll try to take the dogs. And your name is first, Alex. I had to do some CSS wizardry, but I managed to shift it over to first position. Yeah, we can't take the dogs with us. Doesn't look like it. Well, we're in a main story quest, so we can't. Just, just can't. It doesn't work. Okay. Fire Chomper! That is an awesome name. Welcome to the RM2K Dev Nation. Now I'm not going to have one of them. Thanks for following us. Thank you, kind wizard. The kind of wizard that performs magic. The only kind of wizard. What's the um the line from that Falcon Shield song? I can't remember it now. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh no, Ryan, this is bad. Someone's being attacked. 
by a pack of dark wolves. By coyotes. What should we do? Anything but fight or fight? We're gonna fight. Pokemon 5231 is the wizard here. As defined by the cat. He makes it so because he used the cat in his icon, so. Ah, oh, cool, you like my cooking videos. What did you think of the scrambled eggs, Alex? Did they taste good? They should. They're very good scrambled eggs. Everyone seems to like those scrambled eggs. I was thinking of making a new video soon with banana bread, so look out for that. Banana bread. Could be interesting. Alright. Onwards to Port Peruto. It's not up, it's down. No, it's up. I was wrong. Fire Chomper. I will be playing with people on Twitch, but not today. I need to finish the main story first, and once that happens, I'll get the DLC, and we will all be playing together. They looked nasty. Are you serious? Did you make them? Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you said nasty. They said, all right, you said tasty. I read that as nasty. I was like, what? Why would you say that? No, they were really good, man. They were. Ahab. I should introduce myself. Hey, I'm Ahab. Just a gold guy who loves fishing. <laughs> It's okay, green console, you can watch. You can watch us play. And he told us to go there, so I suppose we should. Maybe the governor will be there too. The governor may be there, but maybe not. <laughs> I like it a bit old mystery. Um, what? Since you're here, go enjoy the sights and look around, you two lub -labbers, land lovers. Port Pruda be a town of many faces. Take a stroll down the streets, it'll be fun. I ain't tell- I ain't be telling- oh, I missed that anyway, whatever. I missed- I started reading the dialogue and then I like skipped through it before I even- Before I even, you know. Before I even read it out, I skipped it. And then I forgot what I was supposed to be reading. Lob lavas, yeah. <laughs> you can watch me one hit stuff. With your plus five sort of dexterity. Lob lovers. It's got to be a new thing. That's what we should name the audience. You know how everyone names their audience? Got like the bro, the bros from PewDiePie stuff, and um, what does Tabuscus call his audience? I can't remember. You know how they always name their audience? We'll call, we'll call our audience the uh, the lob lovers. People will ask, "What the hell happened? Why why are we called the lob lovers?" And then they'll they'll realize what actually happened, and yeah, they'll be like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's exactly how they'll sound as well. What level? I am a lob lava. <laughs> You're a lob lava, man. Green console is officially the first lob lava. Um... Master Ryan and Miss Flutter the Butterfly, I didn't expect to see you so soon. Mr. Pescado, what are you doing here, if you don't mind me asking? My dear Miss Flutter, that shouldn't make you worry in the least. It's, like you, it's, thanks to you, it's thanks to you that I came out unscathed from that coyote attack. Please accept my hospitality. Okay. Do you want me to make you better armor? Uh, yeah, you can make me some, some sick armor, but you have to wait until I get the DLC, because I don't have the DLC yet, and I'm not playing online until I finish the main story. But thank you, it would be awesome. Once we start playing online, which will be when the main story is done, uh, we'll all exchange friend codes via the Twitch chat and we'll connect up and yeah, we'll have some uh, 
some uh, followers playing. Hey, how you going, Alao? Hello, are you? Am I lagging? Um, I don't know. Are you lagging? You could be lagging. People do experience some latency. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Let's go find this mayor. Um, Alex, I haven't seen Thief today. I don't know if, if he will be around today. Where are we supposed to go? Ah, oh, she's over there on the ship. I remember this. Go to the ship. Pirate! No, he's a pirate. He's a pirate. I'm gonna call him Pirate. There she is. Oh yeah, day-night cycles in freaking programming take ages. If you saw my um, live stream when I was making Survival Island, that was like an entire stream dedicated to doing the day-night system. It was crazy. Oh man, I've been talking to myself. I had the microphone muted. Sorry about that, guys. Um, miss... Yes, so what of it? I'm Flutter... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, good that I had the microphone muted, because there was a couple of swears in there.
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. When I take a drink of water, I mute the microphone. I forgot to unmute it. That way you don't have to hear me going, like, making mouth sounds and shit like that. <laughs> it's all good. This is a highly refined professional production. Strange random bits where there's no audio, it's, it's legit. It's all good. That happened a lot in my um, programming, my live stream, when I was doing Survival Island. What's weapon level and level? Fire Chomper, give me two seconds, I'll tell you. I haven't had a, t a chance to even open a menu because I keep being in dialogue. Now that's awkward silence. It's alright, Green Console. We cancelled it out with negative phase shifted awkward silence. Um, Royal blood courses through your veins. You can't be a pirate. I'm absolutely against it. But there is something I haven't told you about before. It is said that one night, under Lunaris' bright light, a great pirate hid his loot on Tortuga Apelkilio. If you somehow manage to find it, I may have changed my mind about you not becoming a pirate. Okay. There we go. But Mum smiled and said it wasn't very unlikely. I remember this. We're gonna go find some treasure. Treasure in a pirate ship. How fun. Uh, no, we're good. Just happy we could help. Yep. Okay. Dialogue needs to hurry. Hot it up. There we go, we're good. Alright guys, go to the YouTube thing again. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe um, on my YouTube channel. I forgot what I was going to say then. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget, this was streaming live on twitch.tv forward slash rm2kdev. So if you're interested, you can jump over there and catch up on these things as they happen and join in with the audience in having these hilarious conversations about awkward silence and phase shifting that we have. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.